Thrips are ripping through my plant collection, and they're destroying my prize Monstera. Look at this. Wow, thanks. My new leaf. I would literally do anything to get rid of them. Don't look at what- I can buy thrips eating beneficial bugs, and the best of those is called Neocelius cucumeris, but they do need a relative humidity of 70% to survive. And my home is, well, um, not that. Let me just break out every humidifier I own and raise my home humidity by 30%. If these conditions aren't perfect, the bugs enter diapause, and that's basically like hibernation. They don't eat, don't reproduce, until they basically just starve. Now I know what you're thinking. Having humidity that high in your home is not good especially not for your floors. I finally got my humidity consistently over 70% and on its way to 80. I can finally kick my feet up and relax. Guess who didn't care about it being 80% humidity? Thrips. Guess who couldn't see a single beneficial mite on my plants? Me. Guess who learned that Neocelius cucumeris only eat a very specific stage in the thrips life cycle? Me again. Thrips go through two instar stages before they hit their pre-pupa and pupa stages before turning into adults. Neocelius only eat this specific stage of the life cycle, and because thrips can reproduce way faster than Neocelius can eat, it will basically do nothing if you already have a severe infestation. What I actually need are these absolute destroyers, Aureus Insidiosus, even the name sounds threatening. They will absolutely devour all stages of thrips life cycles, and a few months later, I'm maybe seeing like one, two, Sometimes hiding in a leaf of a curled up monstera. I don't know. They're not really doing anything for me still have thrips though Still still have thrips. It turns out if you already have an established thrips infestation Beneficial bugs really don't do anything to turn the tide What I actually need to do is put some serious time and effort into getting rid of these bugs So I started lint rolling my plants This was a tip from houseplant journal and it saved me so much because it actually rolls up the larvae and adult thrips Is it weird? Yes. Does it work? Yes, I was trying to do this daily to reduce the population. So while this is starting to work, it's not going to eliminate them completely. So I begged my dad and he finally gave me the secret concoction to get rid of all household pests. So listen up close, get a notepad ready. The secret is he watched this two year old video with nearly a million views on YouTube. Anyway, here's the recipe for one liter of water. Two tablespoons of Castile tea tree soap. Two tablespoons of Castile peppermint soap. One half a teaspoon of 3% hydrogen peroxide one half a cup of 70% isopropyl alcohol. Now this is all natural, but I highly suggest if your infestation is bad enough, you can just use a combination of peppermint soap and a concentrated pest spray like an insecticidal soap. The hard part is committing to spraying your target plant every day for at least 10 days. If you want this process done faster, you could also use a cloth and wipe down each leaf after you spray from top to bottom. Initially, you'll want to cover at least double the incubation period of an egg, and this will give you a great head start to eliminating pests completely. I take my other affected plants to the bathtub and spray about every five days. Hey Lee, it's Jeff from Everything Plants. Have you not seen my video on how I made a portable plant shower? It saves me a ton of time when watering all my house plants. Just make one yourself and it'll save you a ton of time as well. What? From there, I just spray down my plants in my portable plant shower every five days until the infestation is gone. You really need to commit with thrips because not only can they fly and reach your other plants, the larvae also might be hiding in the soil and they're able to re-emerge weeks later. This strategy should work for almost every single houseplant pest. You just need to know how long the incubation period is for the eggs. If that pest takes 10 days to hatch, spray every day for 20 days. If it takes that pest about one week to become an adult and be able to reproduce, you should be spraying about every five to six days until your infestation is completely gone. Check out my friend Jeff's channel, Everything Plants, and leave your own pest solutions in the comments. I'll see you next time.